Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for April. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of April. It's being recorded in March, so I would urge you to watch it in April. It may resonate now, but it may not. Then again, it's just a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so we'll just see what comes up for Gemini in April. What do we got for Gemini in April? What do we got for Gemini? Ooh. Truth. This is the judgment card. Um, this is a revelation. This is awakening. Somebody is going to receive the truth of a, of a matter. You know, the truth is going to be revealed. Whatever that truth is, I'm ready for it. The truth is going to be revealed. Gemini. Mm. Somebody's taking action. They're moving very quickly. This is releasing the past. And this the judgment card is about releasing. So somebody may be releasing the past, you know, and receiving something else, you know. Somebody is receiving something. They're getting something. So somebody is receiving something, being given something. Could be an offer. An offer of love with the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. It's time. It's time. A blessing. Somebody is receiving a blessing. And I know you guys get this a lot, don't you? These are both receiving a blessing. For having faith. For, for uh, believing. For making compromising. For allowing time. For being patient. You receive a blessing. You are the you somebody is receiving a blessing from from above. It's time. It's time. Somebody is heading forward, heading towards you with a passionate offer. Okay? An offer of passion and love. I mean, there is action being taken with both these knights. An offer of passion and an offer of love. So it's a passionate love that you perhaps have been waiting for. It may be hard to believe. It may be hard to believe. It may be. It's like all of a sudden you get what you deserve. And it's hard to believe. It is hard to believe. Wow. Oh, oh, same card. In many decks, the judgment card is labeled karma, which it is in this deck. <laughs> it's funny one's reversed and one's not you know there's a there's a some days you believe it and some days you don't that's the truth isn't it it's like i, I don't I, there's confusion there is a bit of confusion here um you are being called to continue to have faith some days you got faith and some days you don't that's that's very clear here Oh, this is the devil, Capricorn. So we have Capricorn, we have Sagittarius, we have Aquarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio a couple times. We have Taurus. Um, there's a strong, strong, strong attraction here with the devil card. It's undeniable. Undeniable attraction. 
strong pull bringing two people together. So there's definitely somebody is receiving a gift, a blessing. And it is, it's so undeniable that you're worried about it. You are worried about it. You're losing sleep over it. Somebody is losing, losing sleep over a connection. And I think it's because it's, it's just too good to be true. It's hard to believe. It is definitely hard to believe. So, um... The overall, the overall outcome is worry. I mean, I think that you guys are really, really worried that, you know, perhaps maybe you're worried that this person, you know, won't commit to you. Or maybe you're worried that, you know, they're not telling you the truth, but they are telling you the truth. They are telling you the truth. Um, you may be, may, you may fear that this person is clinging to a past commitment. You know, maybe that's what your fear is. But you're being called to have hope, have faith, believe, trust. Um, it's time. It is time. It's time for you to allow, accept perhaps. A ju uh, the judgment card is a card of acceptance. Um, there's definitely fear and anxiety. There's anxiety over this connection because it's just so strong. I mean, there's a very strong connection here. And there's a there's a lot of passion. I mean, there is. These are the rods of love. And the rods are passion. So yes, there's a lot of passion. Things are happening. Things are happening. And it's like, this is what you've waited for. And it's like, all of a sudden, this is happening. And it's happening quickly. There's a lot of communication. Things are moving forward. There's a lot of passion. And it's like now you're beginning to realize that you don't you don't have to be alone anymore. You're no longer in the cold. And when you've been left out in the cold, you know, you, your insecurities build up. So, oh, it really feels as though the difficult time that you have been through is over. This is coming out of difficulty. It's coming out of the darkness. It's coming off of the thin ice. It's coming out. So you guys are receiving a passionate love offer that is bringing you out of this dark period that you have been in. You may have been involved with somebody that didn't have good intentions in the past and that's why you have so much fear. That's your dark period. I feel like you were dealing with a person who was emotionally unavailable and now you got this offer and it's just so hard to believe. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been cheated and lied to and deceived, and that's why you're so worried. You're so worried. Um, I really feel like you have an opportunity for stability for something long term. I feel like it's definitely, this is divine timing. It is. And this is a gift, and this is a gift, and this is a gift. So you guys are receiving a gift. Something that you could really save something that could make you really happy something that could lead to something permanent um and it may be happening pretty quickly these are very fast moving it's like all of a sudden the passion starts the passion is ignited and it's like boom boom this is what you've been looking for um oh ah uh, yeah so but you know the, we, we <laughs> Ooh, so we have somebody here who <clears throat> may not think they have enough to offer. They may have be dealing with their own insecurities. They may feel like They don't have time. Maybe they're really busy, busy, busy. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who works a lot, some a workaholic. Um, could be dealing with somebody who is afraid to be rejected. 
this person may be going through a midlife crisis right now. They may be working on their abundance. Maybe they see your abundance. Maybe um, you're dealing with somebody who is just trying to build up their stability. And maybe there's maybe this person is finally coming in after they find their stability. Somebody is moving very quickly, but it looks like they've been through a period of lack, you know, a lack. Maybe they just didn't have time or they've been too busy. They were going through some sort of midlife crisis. There's fear of rejection here. There's definitely fear of rejection. There's fear of giving up uh, singlehood, too. There's fear of commitment. There is. There is definitely fear of commitment here. But I, it feels to me like they're ready because this is ready. This is abundant. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think this person may have felt like they weren't ready. You know, in the past, they felt like they weren't ready. They were going through some sort of breakup, perhaps. Maybe they feel like they didn't have anything to offer. And now it's like... Yeah, somebody's been stuck. Somebody's been stuck. Stuck in the past. Maybe this person has, whoever you're dealing with, has been through a run of bad luck. And they've been stuck. Somebody has been stuck. And one of the reasons they're stuck is because of the past memories. And I think that this person may have retreated. They may have, you know, went into hiding to recover. Somebody had to go through a period of recovery. They may have just gone through, a, gone through a divorce or a split or a breakup or something. And so they had to refine their themselves. So I think whoever is coming in is finally ready. They're finally, finally ready. But they needed this time. They needed some sort of time of solitude to heal from something of their from their past but now they're ready and they've been watching they've been watching um and i think communication is coming in i do feel like communication is coming in i feel like this person um has been feeling really discontent and bored with life and perhaps now they're beginning to th realize this person has been through a repression. I feel like we, we're dealing with somebody here who has definitely been through a difficult time in their lives. And they had to retreat. They really Somebody has been in a period of retreat, a period of solitude. And it feels like now they're ready to start. They're ready to begin again. They're ready to start over. They're ready to have that fresh start. The time is now time is now somebody is now ready perhaps for a commitment after a period of not being ready a period of being stuck on memories of the past you know keep going back to the past you know and it's like now it's like all of a sudden it's like they get this impulse or they get this revelation or this epiphany because of the judgment that's what that is it's time. It's time. I'm ready. I'm ready for my fresh start. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. But I think this person has went through a period of, of loss of faith, a period of, of repression, you know, a, um, a midlife crisis per se. <clears throat> and I think that whoever we're dealing with has, has been through a painful separation and now they're ready to move forward so I, I really feel like somebody has decided to take take the lead you know take the reins and make a move so I really feel like there is somebody that is absolutely moving in like quick they're moving in like really really quick they could even be moving into your home Oh boy. Ah, yikes. So, you know, I really feel like whoever you're dealing with probably sees your stability. They see what you have to offer. They see your loyalty. They see your ability to nurture and grow things. They see your, your tender, loving care. They see, um, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and it probably is a soulmate connection. It looks to me like we have a soulmate connection here that probably has been delayed for a little while because somebody was stuck on memories from the past. But it's like all of a sudden, it's like all of a sudden, it's like, boom, 
I'm going with you. Here I come. Are you ready? Because the time is now. I'm ready. All of a sudden, I'm ready. Ready to take this leap of faith after going through a repression. So I feel like we have somebody here that uh, may be moving in very, very quickly. Um, this person wants to work with you. They want to come together with you. You might have to make some compromises. You may have to change things up a little bit. Ah, this is this is coming out of that period of solitude, coming out of being alone. It's it's like waking up. So, I really feel as though somebody is probably <laughs> has a new opportunity, something that is solid, stable, something that you can save. We have a new opportunity. Somebody has manifested a new beginning here. It's something that could really last. It's something solid. It's something long-term. Um, it's a gift. It is absolutely a gift. Somebody is receiving something that is big, a big, huge gift this month. If it's not a partnership, it could be money. Somebody is receiving something that they can actually put in the bank. It's like save this is something big. Somebody is receiving a big gift from, you know, the universe. That's it's a wish. It's a it's a wish. A, a wish is being fulfilled. It's it's divine timing. The time is now. So yeah, you guys are receiving a gift, Gemini, and it's after being it's going through a run of bad luck or going through a period of stagnation, you know, of think losing faith. I think that you went through a period of losing faith on this person. You know, thinking that, you know, what the hell is going on here? And um, all of a sudden, they get this epiphany. You know, they get this revelation. You're the one that I want. You're the stability. Uh, you're my golden opportunity. Or, And I'm ready. I'm ready. And here they come. It's like here they come flying, flying in. And perhaps they are ready to just, like, move right in. So I don't know what that is. That's pretty... Uh, I can't, I don't even, I'm speechless. So, um, I don't know about that. But we're going to get one of these cards while I think about this. Um, let's talk about this. Anyway, we're going to, um, we're not going to talk about this right now. We're just, it's not April yet. So anyway, we're going to get one of these. Um, let's see what comes up for Gemini. What do we got for Gemini. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to start doing weekly readings again because it's just the way it is. And maybe you're the one that's too busy. This could be you. This could be you that just like, I got too much work to do. I can't do this right now. I mean, or it could be both of you. Who knows? Somebody is, is putting work at this point. I think in March, they're putting work above a relationship. But I think that's all about to change. I really do. And that's who knows what will happen then. Um, Far away places. Get ready for new horizons, Gemini. Get ready. Stop playing it safe. Get ready for new horizons and change in your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands or faraway places, or it may be an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings. However, you are safe and protected. Good fortune ensues. Part of the glory of travel is stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness of everyday life. It can feel daunting. Yet in no small way, your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. Things are not as they seem. There are no wrong terms. And I can see that somebody, or no wrong turns, it says. Somebody has been losing faith because somebody has been focused on everything but love for a minute, regaining their stability. But let me tell you, things are about to change in a positive direction it looks like they're gonna all but they're gonna have some epiphany that's what the judgment is it's an epiphany it's a wake-up call i gotta go i don't want to lose this opportunity i gotta go i gotta go get it 
so I don't know. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I keep hearing that. I'm ready. Interesting. Change is coming. Things are not as easy as they think, seem. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. You are on a pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphorical bag packed. Some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Nothing should be taken advantage of. You are going to be receiving something from somebody that you probably don't expect. And it is a true blessing. It's a true gift. And it's after you have been clinging to the past or the other person has been clinging to the past. It's going to allow you to completely release the past. You know, I think that for some of you, you feel like you've been cheated. You've been robbed. Yes, you have. But there's a reason. There's a reason. Because you're, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need... I mean, this is to getting, um, turning silver to gold. You don't want the silver. You want the gold. So you're you're about to get the golden opportunity that you that you deserve. Don't lose faith. So I don't I don't I don't know who this reading is for, but um, good luck. <laughs>